hello and welcome back to my channel so today i'm popping on to share the first layouts i've got done with my september um secret not secret kit club kit and that kit was based entirely on vicky Booten's beautiful field notes collection and since I saw her reveal her new kaleidoscope, I thought, uh oh, okay, I better start making some room for some of that gorgeousness to come in. So I decided to get cracking um, on the kit that I had. Now, some of these involved some very difficult decisions. Like you see here, I've got the back side of this paper, and is that not beautiful? Uh, this is the Vicky Booten, the Field Notes Daydreamer. And well, I made a big decision and I had to sacrifice this one and use the um, A side of it. Um, at least I think this is the A side. So here is the first layout that I created with my September kit. Um, so I used the entire paper here. I love these sort of little splatters. A cup or or glass stains on um, on a table so and I found the color and the texture sort of matched a little bit here the the driveway so and here's something fun those gorgeous cards that Christina always sends us with our kits and I always say how they match the kit so beautifully well here it is so I used the daydreamer as my background paper the front of the awesome card that I got from Christina, a doily that uh, came in the kit to back the paper. And I put the doily between the photo and the cardstock that I used to mat the photo. And I thought that just gave it um, not too bright um, of the red, or it's sort of a tomatoey red. It's. Um, what is it now? It's a Stamping Up Poppy Parade from Stampin' Up. Uh, then I used from the Field Notes collection, I used some of the chipboard and I used quite a few of the puffy stickers. In fact, so far I've got three layouts and a TN spread and I think I only have one or two of the puffy stickers left. So you'll be seeing that one totally used up very, very soon. Uh, this background paper was a 6x6 six six that was left over from a previous kit. And in fact, I think it was in my Killa Kit. It's in my Killa Kit with Style January Kit. These lovely little puffy elements are also from Field Notes. And then this uh, is a Pink Fresh Studios wood button. So there you go. So this is my lovely grandniece sitting on her dad's uh, Vespa. So uh, Julia's ready to embrace the Vespa life is just a little bit of journaling that I put this and this is a present. I don't think they even know I have a channel, so hopefully they won't be seeing any of this before I get to give it to her. So that is layout number one. Then layout number two, um, here again, I used one of those uh, go-to designs for for me one third of the page uh, this one is sort of based on a Chamel design I often use two four by six photos and then I don't do the cluster on this side but rather uh, put a little bit more embellishment here which you'll see coming up um, very soon as the last layout that I did uh, for this particular share so this is just one of those everyday moments and here I used the Field Notes Happy Heart. Um, and I don't remember what this one is called, but it's that beautiful pen paper on the background. And I actually used, um, I used the branding strip here, so I can't, <laughs> I can't go and tell you what this, uh, what the, this particular paper is called. Uh, this one is called Happy Heart. So I used, again, the one-third, sort of two-thirds. Um, and then I just did a little bit, sort of a little bit, I guess, on the diagonal here, a little bit straighter here, a little diagonal here for the embellishment. 
And this lovely cluster that I did over here, basically just using the same paper. So this lovely pen paper, the B-side of this one, the Happy Heart uh, paper here. And then here, since I had matted the photo in black and I like that pop of black, I decided to just put a very small strip of black cardstock here uh, with uh, one of the lovely chipboard, colorful chipboard, the Field Notes uh, puffy stickers, uh, Finding Joy. This also is from the same puffy sticker sheet, Simple Things, because this is what this is. Um, these are the clips, this and this here. You're going to see that I've, I've done some hidden journaling here. I just put a glass scene envelope here on the back, inserted uh, a handmade tag, and I put this little uh, bird here and this little floral piece here. They were, these were the clips, I think, from the previous uh, Vicky Butin collection. Uh, my lovely friend Karina from Sweden sent me quite a few of these on my birthday. So on this particular one, I just um, took the clip part off and used it as pretty much as a die cut. Uh, then I have here um, some stickers from, I think it's Pretty Little Studio. So here, Loving the Rain, because it's just uh, plants. Uh, celebrate everyday things and remember this. And this is a little bit more personal journaling to me because it's just a very everyday photo of my balcony garden, but it really talks about how I miss having the very large uh, country garden that I used to uh, have um, and do together with my sister from another mister and her now ex-husband, which is why we don't have the large garden anymore. So it's a little bit more of personal journaling and how I gave uh, balcony, gardening a uh, balcony gardening a try, but it's not quite the same thing. So there you go. So that is the second layout with the beautiful Field Notes collection. And then using uh, leftovers uh, from um, these two pages, one page, together with a few printables from Inky Quill, I've become a, a patron uh, of Adele's. I think it was maybe in October or November of last year, and, and I love it. And she uh, gives us these most fantastic printables, very, very generous uh, every single month. And these I printed, it was one of the uh, collage sheets or art printables, I think she calls them. And I printed these out on sticker paper um, and the stickers are round. But then I did use my punch here to make a little bit of a smaller one. The papers here uh, though are from the Field Notes collection. This is my Traveler's Notebook, my reading and watching Traveler's Notebook. Um, so if you haven't uh, seeing that so far, seeing what I've done in this Traveler's Notebook so far, uh, just go back one or two videos to my Kill a Kit with Style January uh, TN share. And the first few uh, spreads that I have done are shared over there. I'll try and remember to put uh, a link below if I can remember that. And this is of two series. So uh, I've added Acorn TV to my subscriptions. It's another British uh, streaming service and it's like five dollars a month kind of thing. It's like nothing. And there's all sorts of really fun series. This little sitcom called French Fields. It's got three series and, and this one actually, you know one of those series, it's just, you know, slice of life, everyday sitcom kind of thing, but nobody does it as well as the Brits. And this actually makes me just chuckle out loud. And then Agatha Raisin, which is a cozy uh, mystery series, which is very, very cozy. Um, so I quite, quite enjoy that series as well. Again, I brought in uh, a lot of those puffy stickers. Um, and there you go, quite a simple page. And this, I think, is just, this was in my bowl, that scrap bowl, one of those scrap bowls that are sitting on my desk, and it's from an Amy Tangerine and it was already bannered, so I just stuck it under the photos, and there you go. So that's um, 
the third project that I got done with this kit. And then the last layout that I did is quite a clean and simple layout, but it is so bright and colorful. So I left the background plain. I'm wondering though, tell me what you think. Should I go put maybe some white splatters on the back here certainly not gold certainly not yellow but maybe some white splatters and what i use for my white splatters is watered down acrylic paint so it's fairly opaque so tell me in the comments below if you think i should go add some splatters maybe just here and here that's sort of what i'm thinking just to give it a little bit of finish so i used here i used a piece of the field notes abstract moments um, from um, a side and then the b side so this here i cut i think well actually i cut it to eight inches and then realized that i really wanted it to be a lot longer and normally it is a lot longer so i just cut it in half down the middle and um, moved it out a little bit so then i could use the last piece sort of three and a half four inch piece here cut in two that i've tucked in here this is actually from the 6x6 from the Whimsical collection, uh, but it was on my desk and I love sort of that peachy color. It complements so well this darker uh, orangey, tomatoey red uh, and the yellow. It's sort of in between all of those colors, so I thought it looked just beautiful here. Um, the chipboard from the field notes, which has all sorts of lovely colors. I thought the photos could use, use a little bit of brightening, brightening up. Then I used a few little bits and pieces, bows from uh, Amy Tangerine that were sitting in that bowl of mine. Um, one of my beloved uh, Freckled Fawn cameras. As you can see, I'm really using them uh, one at a time here and there. Uh, puffy stickers, yet again. So as I said, I think I actually have maybe two uh, of these puffy stickers from the Field Notes collection left. The Alpha that came with the kit and then um, just my little black um, Daily Flash Alpha. So this is a lovely little coastal uh, village in the central region of Portugal. So on the way from Lisbon up to Porto on the Atlantic coast called Figueira da Faz and this was I spent maybe about three or four days here just a beautiful lovely little village relaxing little village with just can you see here this gives you maybe a little bit of an idea of the length um, of that beach this is sort of a walk along the downtown or the coastal front here and then you take this boardwalk and I think I think it's about a kilometer uh, uh, long. So it's a beautiful, beautiful beach to just sit and relax uh, and and watch the world go by. And I used again a few in the three places here, a few of those pretty little studio word uh, stickers. And there you go. So that is what I've got done so far with my September Secret Not Secret Kit Club kit based on field notes. I'm working furiously with that kit so that I can make room for the kaleidoscope because that is what I have requested uh, in my January kit. So gotta get this one used up so I'll be back soon with some more shares. Have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye.